So welcome back to another video and in this one we are going to deal with a topic from developmental biology which is anterior posterior axis determination in C. elegans. Well the decision for the anterior posterior sides that resides solely on the sperm or the entry of the sperm. Now the sperm enters and gives out the pronucleus of the sperm and also it gives out the centriole that is present inside the sperm. Now this centriole as it enters along with the pronucleus it starts rearranging the cytoplasm inside the egg. Now during rearrangement uh, the centriole it pushes this sperm pronucleus towards the nearest pole and this side towards which sperm pronucleus is pushed this side becomes the posterior side. Now the sperm not only gives in the pronucleus and the centriole it also gives in another protein which is called CYK4. Now this CYK4 what it does it activates a GTPase inside the egg. Now this GTPase it activates microfilaments. Now these microfilaments they um, they arrange the proteins inside the oocyte of the C. elegans and one of the proteins one of the most important proteins are the PAR proteins. Now as the microfilaments arrange the proteins, the PAR proteins are pushed towards the anterior side of the egg. So this side becomes the anterior side. Now the PAR proteins, the PAR proteins, these are a, a collection of uh, proteins which help to localize many other components and one of the components is the P granules. The P granules are a collection of some translation factors or regulators so these are translation factors and they contain certain RNA helicases Um, next they contain poly A polymerases and they also contain certain initiation factors, certain translation initiation factors. Now after the fertilization occurs that is the egg nucleus combines with the sperm pronucleus. Uh, these P granules, these P granules, these P granules, they move towards the posterior side. They move towards the posterior side. So the P granules would be here. Now this has an importance. Why the P granules move towards the posterior side? Because when when there would be division, when there would be cell division, the the, the zygote would divide to form uh, one stem cell which is the P1 and another cell which is called the founder cell which is called AB. Now the P1 cell, this stem cell, if the cell divide from here, the P1 would be the cell on the posterior side and these P granules would be needed in the P1 cells for the posterior determination and the AB cell would be over here. Now the P granules they remain in the posterior of P1 and uh, they eventually when the cell again divide when the next set of divisions occur the P granules would move on to P2 and again it would move on to P3. 
So this is why the pea granules are needed in the posterior region because uh, these pea granules are the determinants of these P1, P2 and P3 when the cells divide. So that was about how the anterior-posterior axis determination in C. elegans take place.